so you catch us me and Mr Ranger up front we're heading up to the cobbler well the lower path this is a an excellent path coming off one of our mountains nearby uh, not a Monroe, just a Corbett but uh, one of the problems with this place is it is extremely popular and not too far from Glasgow so during the day it's a little bit busy and full on but now we're both armed with excellent lights for riding at night we can do it in the evening and that's a wonderful thing so that's the cycleable bit done for us mere mortals you can actually do this next bit on an e-bike or if you're super fit but we have and are neither <laughs> So I don't know if this will come out in the camera or not but uh, it's the most water I've ever seen in that river all the snow melt just now this was too frosty to ride just a few days ago and as you can tell the wind's got up as well it should make it more adventurous Yeah Uh, well, mine there's a, a, like a bit that punctures you here as well. Probably covered in snow now, to be fair. Whew. I've got a wee chocolate bar for the top. I wish it was a boost. Yeah. Are you looking at your ESAT now, Fly? Oh, you've seen it, eh? It's in the real world. Yes. <laughs> this is as high as we're going. Now, unfortunately, it's quite windy, but at least the wind is going kind of with us. Let's hope it stays that way. Right, if I cast a shadow too bad for you, just let me know. I will not be going over your, your thing. Anyway. Yeah. Over the bars. <laughs> right. Let's get into it. Now, I'll try and keep the lens as clear as possible, but oh, no guarantees. Brakes will quiet up pretty soon. You okay? Yeah, you don't want to do that. From the top, let's start. Dropping in the first time. Now for the dangerous bit. So yeah, uh, the last video I've done with the lights, which is the first night ride I've ever done, went down pretty well. Filmed well, you guys seem to enjoy it. I had quite a lot of comments about the cost 
off this light, which is uh, just over 3, uh, 300, sorry, just over 300 quid. But I don't think a lot of you actually looked at the other lights. There are loads of much cheaper options. You don't have to buy the best. I mean, I like Ferraris, but uh, I own a Honda. So yeah, I'm using this 8000 lumen one because that's the one that Magic Shine sent to me. And I understand they want to show the best of what they've got. You know, they wouldn't want to, you know, my channel, I need, uh, I need a bright light for the, the GoPro at night as well. Anything less than this and it'd be quite hard to demonstrate it. Because GoPros are notorious for being pretty crap in low light. So yeah, my first night ride was uh, around the local trail centre trails. Pretty easy, nice and straightforward, nice and predictable. <laughs> we have quite obviously went completely the other way for this video. It's definitely quite awkward and technical, even in daytime. Oh man. Ooh. <laughs> Pretty wild. Hopefully you can see that. So cool. It looks amazing. It looks really cool following you. Yeah, it looks. Just seeing like the lights. Yeah, I'll let you go. Around. I'll let you go a good bit ahead then, and and we'll see oh, if I can. Wait till we get like. I I went to the woods. Yeah. Okay. That looked awesome though. You coming down? I'm sure I've seen some headlamps. Ah, oh, it's maybe Arica. Oh, it's going too slow. Oh, oh, moments, moments been had. Oh, I'm gonna stop here. That's not an obvious bit. This is totally blind and it looks like the path. Yeah, I was gonna say I, that I, like it went. I you wanted to slow down there. Yeah, yeah, well that was that was honestly my worry. Because I was so close to going off that and I thought if I don't slow you down. I will. <laughs> Cool trail during the day, but oh man, pretty terrifying at night. You know what? Oh, not quite. Happy for you to lead. Okay. Right, we're out of the, the the main kind of technical bits. It's going to progressively get less and less technical as we go down and get a bit faster. And uh, we're probably not going to go that fast. Uh, the other comment I got. Uh, from a few of you, was this, this light is kind of overkill, uh, but it is. But you really, you can't have too much power, too much light when you're riding technical stuff. So yeah, um, eight thousand lumens. I agree, is is more than you need, but is it more than you want? For me, 
doing descents like this, absolutely, I'll, I'll take as much light as I can get. Pierce, on the other hand, has the 3000 lumen one, and that's working for him just fine. So, yeah, there's an argument for both ways. Again, get what you need, or even get what you want if you've got the money. Go overkill. Fine. Woo! Jesus. That's what I'm saying, in theory we could go really fast But in reality I'm too scared <sighs> Always time to eat mud though Another comment was about casting shadows The, the person with the brighter light should block front That makes absolute sense But Pierce says it wasn't too much of a problem for him um, I guess the closer I get to him, the, the worse it'll be, but he said it was alright. I didn't notice until I went out front last time. All the learning curve. All new to me. And I'm loving it. Done quite a lot of mountain biking over the years, but now I'm doing something new. And it honestly feels completely new. Ah, <laughs> I feel like I'm a novice again as well. Oh, so tempting. Oh. <laughs> that was stodgy, I'm sorry. And then just not knowing, as soon as it goes over a drop, like, is it smooth? Is there a rock? Yeah, yeah. Where are the rocks? Well, the thing is, even with the, the light on the head, you still can't shine down enough to expose the back sides of things. There's always going to be that shadow yeah. cast from a crest or a jump or a drop. So there's still that unknown. I mean, obviously that trail, I know roughly where it goes, but uh, I don't remember every detail <laughs> no, no, no. and then you don't know the details until you get over the crest and by that, by that time you're already ha on your trajectory <laughs> right i'll do the top bit i'll get you down okay. well, halfway you yeah just follow it you'll see the bit uh, pierce isn't so keen on this top section of woods but he's going to join me for the second section so we'll meet him at the fire road intersection you can't see it but I'm looking up to the left oh it's a fox a sheep can you see those eyes it's a cat Ew. <laughs> I wasn't expecting to see a cat I want to. You do get wildcats in Scotland, but I doubt that is. That'll be a domestic one. It might be wild if you kick it. Another comment that was in the last video was about oh, um, people saying that you become more aware of the noises in the woods and the uh, creatures and whatnot. Uh, I'm okay with that. I'm comfortable in the woods, in the dark. Maybe, maybe not near a city. I'm not comfortable around humans, animals. Totally fine. For international viewers, Scotland doesn't really have any predators. We used to, but then we killed them all. Oh, and then I nearly killed myself there. Very scary. Oh, get some slippy, slippy ash roots in here. 
that in momentum one of these bits oh yeah that's a different beast you can see Pearson's headlight in the in the distance oh oh <laughs> terrifying really oh <laughs> So many moments. So many moments. Yeah, down here. Woo! That was even scarier. The roots are slippy. <laughs> Just to confirm. Yep. Put low here. Yes, 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 no, 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 oh, I mean, you have to break, you don't want to be, you shouldn't, oh, oh, no, you did not make it, Almost there. Whew. Oh my goodness. Right, I don't know if you can see me. Uh, if not, um, just listen to what I'm going to say. Goodbye. <laughs> now, um, yeah, that was uh, a very different um, night ride to the last one, or the first one. We went from nice easy tame trails, uh, a fairly clear night, pretty chilled, good fun. That was a bit more intense, that was definitely a more full on trail to be hitting in those conditions in this weather during the night, but we survived it and it was fun. So. Yeah, I hope you enjoyed that. That was cool. Hoping for more in the future. Ciao.